Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in, and welcome back to Red Dead Online. Today, we will be covering the collector. Today's video will run a little long. I want to apologize in advance, but it is kind of a lot to cover, but I promise to make it as short as possible. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. In order to start the collector roll, you will need to read the letter from Crips, which can be found at your nearest post office or inside your lockbox at your camp. After reading the letter, uh, you need to look on your map. You'll see a golden circle like this. Uh, it'll say, like a main story mission, it'll say to become a collector. Uh, so head to it. Once you get there, you will encounter a mysterious gypsy. Her name is Madame Nazar. She travels all over the map. Um, she will offer for you to buy the collector's bag for 15 gold, which you will need that in order to start the roll. If you don't have the gold, you can always visit her later and purchase it at a different date. If you are having trouble earning gold, I do have a video laying out the best gold me making methods, which I will leave a link to in the, in the description below. After you buy the collector's bag, Madame Nazar will give you a map, which you can then use to find some collectibles to get started. And the collectibles will show up like this. There'll be three of them. This one, you know, I've, I only have one left on it. But they'll look like this, and I'll tell you what they are. Um, there are various types and sets of collectibles. They are the American Wildflowers. You have four different sets of tarot cards, four sets of jewelry, one set of antique alcohol bottles, one set of bird eggs, one set of arrowheads, one set of family heirlooms, and then one set of coins. You will not be able to collect all the items right out of the gate. You will need to rank up as the collector to unlock all the items. I do want to mention the Blood Flower and the Agarita Flowers, which are both part of the flower collection, are both only available at night between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. The Blood Flower is primarily found in Lemoyne. Um, you can find them down through here along the coast in the swamps. You can find them up near here in Saint Denis. You can even find them near Blue Water Marsh. So that's kind of the hot spot for those. The Agaritas will be down here in New Austin. Um, and they can be... I never had them go to Armadillo, but normally uh, in and around Tumbleweed and Rio Bravo. Uh, more in that area is where you'll find the, the Agaritas, if I'm saying that right. Uh, another side note, when it comes to the bird eggs, some of them will be on the ground. Some will be up in trees. You will need a varmint rifle to shoot the nest to drop the eggs to the ground so you can collect it. Uh, if you're kind of wondering how you're going to find them in the trees, you can hit your eagle vision. And especially at night, they will glow gold and it'll make it easy for you to find them. As you rank up the collector roll, you will be able to purchase additional maps and tools directly from Madame Nazar. Uh, two of those include the shovel and the metal detector, which I have right here. And you see how that works. You get close to an item and you dig for it. That's why they're that's why those two items are important. Because some items, the, especially the higher dollar ones, uh, like the jewel, some of the jewelry and especially the coins, require you to have both of those, the shovel and the metal detector. And the most common question I get is, are they worth it? Absolutely, they're, they're worth it. Uh, like I just said, the jewelry is some of the most expensive sets in the roll, and then the coins are the most expensive set. They are $540 per set. Um, and again, you can buy maps telling you the locations directly from Madame Nazar. Do not do that. Do not buy the maps from her, and I will explain to you why in just a minute. I do want to go over a few other items really quick, and then we will get right into that. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure you're kind of wondering, well, you just told me not to buy the maps. How am I going to get money and XP to unlock and buy these, atom, these items? The answer is simple. Just do the collector roll. And it really is that easy. Uh, like I just said, you can get the tarot cards, the eggs, the alcohol bottles, and the flowers without any equipment, without any rank, without buying any additional maps, and without spending any money. Um, the tarot cards, there's 56 of those total, broken down into four sets of 14. And for each individual item you get, you will get XP. When you sell the items as a set, on top of the individual XP, which is about one to 200, sometimes more, 
per item of, of XP, you'll get an additional 1500 per set. If you have the Outlaw Pass, which I do highly recommend, you will gain an additional 25% boost to your roll XP and on top of all the other XP you, I, just, I just mentioned. Uh, so, for example, if you were to collect all four sets of the tarot cards and sold them, you would net 6,000 base XP plus the 1 to 200 XP per card you collected plus the 25% roll boost. So there's a so you will rank it up in no problem. But I know money is still a factor because you have all the XP in the world. You got to have money to buy those tools, right? Right. So to give you an idea, the tarot cards each set will sell anywhere from $239 to $287. That is per set. Uh, wildflowers will net you $155.50. The alcohol bottles will, will be $160.50. And the bird eggs will be $182.50. So again, just those alone will more than take care of the shovel, which is $350. You can get it right out of the gate. And then the metal detector is $700. And you can get that at rank 5. So very early on you can get these. Um, you can sell the items individually to her, to Madame Nazar. And as I mentioned, don't do that because they are worth a whole lot more as a complete set. And you can sell them by either... Where's my butcher table? Oh, it's over here. You can sell them by either going as a set to... You can sell them to her directly, or you can go to your nearest post office and mail them to her. Uh, either way you go about it, you will receive an instant payout of money and XP on the spot. So, you know, either way you're good. And now we're getting to the maps. I told you not to buy the maps from her individually, and here's why. There is an interactive map that is 100% free. I will leave a link to that. In the description below the items are on a timer every 24 hours they will reset to the location a uh, different location every 24 hours this map has a live ticker on it it counts down when it hits zero the items will change on the map to where they're supposed to be on that day also it will show you Madame Nazar's location every day because there are some items for all the roles you can only get through Madame Nazar so there is a need to go see her but not as often as some people think um, and this way also with that ticker you'll know how much time you have left before the item is reset so you don't want to start a collection and only have five or ten minutes left you can't get us you can't get a collection done in five or ten minutes it's just not possible um, and I'm still not done because this is why the this is why in my opinion the collector is the most lucrative role to date. Even after you max it out, you're a level 20, you have the, t the horse, you have the outfits, you have the money. Here is why you should still be doing the collector, and this is why it's, it's so lucrative. After you max it all out, you will still, you can still be able to collect the sets, and you'll still get individual XP for the sets. You'll still get the set XP, like, the 1500 when you sell it as well as all the money so like for me for instance what my favorite routine to do is if I've got, if I've got a short session I can only be on for like you know a couple hours I'll do the coins and two sets of the highest paying jewelry it takes me about an hour and a half to two hours to do that um, I will get around eleven hundred dollars in just two hours from this if I have less than an hour I can knock out the coins in about 45 minutes. Oh lord, my horse is not liking that. So that's $540 in 45 minutes, give or take a few minutes. Uh, that and that and that's why the collector I I recommend doing even after you rank it up, because you still need the XP to rank up your your online character to unlock the explosive rounds. Um, that the leather outfits, you know, you know, you know what comes with that, ranking it up. Um, and this is, if you're wondering, this is the level 20 collector outfit I'm wearing. This is, I'm not sure how you say it, I think it's the Creole, Creolo, level 20 collector horse. It's the marble coat. Um, but that's all I have for you all today, guys. Uh, once again, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. 
checking out the content. If you did like the content and it was helpful, I would have greatly appreciate it if you dr drop a like and uh, comment below. Let me know what you like to see. Sh what would you like to see showcase on the channel? Um, I will be dropping videos about money making methods. Um, again, the golden making methods will be in the description as well as that interactive map. And I will also be showcasing some legendary bounties for uh, those new players who are maybe thinking about it, want to see what that's all about. I will be doing an in-depth review of the bounty hunter as well as legendary bounties because, well, they're really fun. And they got really neat backstories. But that's all I got for you all today. Thanks for coming hanging out with me. And I will see you all in the next one.